Madam Speaker, there are 18 continuing care retirement communities in the state of Connecticut, home to about 6,000 senior residents. And those residents place their faith, their trust, and in most cases, their entire finances in the hands of the providers of these CCRCs, or continuing care retirement communities. At its core, a CCRC allows those residents to age in place with dignity. In return for their investment, they get a residence, they get a community, uh, they get cutting-edge health care services all on site. Now, our current statutory scheme does an excellent job uh, regulating the disclosures that have to be made to those residents before they move in, when they're investing in often cases, as I said, their life savings. Uh, now, in most cases, it's, it's not cheap. And there are significant disclosures, but what this bill does is it carries over a number of those, those disclosures and certain rights for the residents throughout their entire tenure at the CCRC. Uh, it does things like allows for the formation of resident councils, uh, enhances communication with the providers so that residents are aware of construction projects, are aware of material changes in the provider's debt structure, which is often an issue that is obviously of, of great concern to the residents, again, because they've invested so much money into these CCRCs. Um, so that's what, uh, in a nutshell, this bill does. There are a number of uh, additional provisions I'm happy to discuss if there are questions. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the chairs of the Human Services Committee. It came, the it came out of Human Services with bipartisan support due to the great interest that our chair took and, of course, Ranking Member Wood as well for her keen interest that she took in the bill uh, as it advanced through the committee and heard the testimony of some of these residents who showed up. Um, Madam Speaker, I do have an amendment. It is uh, 6432. The amendment makes a few technical changes to different sections, uh, the most obvious and substantive of which is that it changes the effective date uh, to October 1st. This will give the providers some time to digest the changes that are made in this bill and to set up the communication structures with the residents that, uh, that this bill accomplishes. And again, there's some number of other technical changes, some of which were re uh, re requested by the department, uh, DSS, that oversees CCRCs in our state. And so I'd move adoption.